So if you're wondering why Andre Shaolin is in the semifinals, it is because Maui Wolfgram, although he decisioned Shaolin in the quarterfinals, he broke his ribs and was unable to continue on in the tournament. So Shaolin takes his place over Chris Bernard. Definitely if a guy I wanted to come back in this tournament, it would be Andre Shaolin. So he showed definitely a lot of good technique standing up. Very, very difficult to take down. So it becomes an interesting matchup with Chris Bernard, who has very heavy hands as well. Got a bit of a uh, conditioning problem because Shaolin had to go overtime in that loss to Maui Wolfgram. As George Atkins explains to the instructions. Any last minute question, Andre? Any last minute question, Chris? All right, touch gloves. Come out fighting. So Andre Shaolin had to go overtime in the loss to Maui Wolfram, but Wolfram suffering the broken ribs. And Chris Bernard looking to get into the finals. Michael Brighton has already made it into the finals. That'll be coming up a little bit later in this car. Shaolin in the black, going for a quick kick. He's going right back to those leg kicks that he was so effective with in his first match here. Chris Bernard, a little off balance. Sorry, looks a little gun shy too as he comes in. Andre Shaolin is doing a good job when he rushes in, keeps his head up and keeps an eye on his opponent so he can keep firing off blows. You only got to gain that confidence by getting hit. Nice left hand comes underneath by Shaolin. He's got that underhook and he's got an elevating Bernard here. Bernard to be scales at 220 pounds. Shaolin 192. You can see the size differential. Oh, nice exchange of punches right there by both fighters. Shaolin tries to take down the bigger opponent. Bernard does a good job by sticking that right hand on to stop him from going to the back. Eats a couple of knees in the process. Couple of knees by Shaolin. And Bernard trying for the single leg takedown. Oh, he just can't get the hook. He flies him into the rope and both fighters go through the ropes. Time is still running. Oh, they stopped the clock. The other quarterfinals, they just kept the, the time running. Now the clock continues to run. This is one five minute right. Another kick. Finding the five, Bernard. Sean doing a good job at mixing those outside leg kicks, getting good positions of pummel underneath. It's a much bigger man. The right hands to the body of Bernard. Full of grips, those things can add up. Oh, and a knee right to the thigh of Bernard. Again, another knee. Bernard now just trying to just rely on brute strength. Just push around his lighter opponent. Sean was doing a good job mixing and grabbing the rope. Both of them are going to grab the rope to avoid those takedowns. Sean has got the inside double unders right here, kind of climbing to the back. Oh, that knee found its mark. Oh, and another knee to the face. Bernard. Having a steady diet of Shaolin knees. Oh, and a nice takedown by Shaolin as he tripped his opponent. Good job by keeping that underhook again, keeping the top position. Chris, lock him up, Chris. Chris, 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 swelling over the eye of Chris Bernard as well. Shaolin was side control and now starting to rain down the punches of Bernard. And George Atkins calls time. Warren about to the back of the head. We thought he actually called it. Looked like the fight was going to be over right there. And the crowd doesn't like that decision either. Like Chris Bernard may have a second chance and see if he wants to continue. It took some punishing blows there. Uh, there is a situation, Michael Zuka, where if there are blows to the back of the head and the opponent, the one who's getting hit, rolls his head into the punches, it is not an illegal blow. Exactly. You can kind of make an argument that's exactly what happened. He's trying to turn to protect his face and happen to give the back of the head. It wasn't Shaolin's fault because he kept on punching the same direction. So they're going to give Chris Bernard some time to shake off the cobwebs there. And 
and a warning to Andre Shaolin. As we mentioned, when Shaolin took on Maui Wolfram in the quarterfinals in that Tiger Fight Club. I can actually Marcelo see that. Tiger. Excuse me, you can see that left ankle there nice and swollen. He actually walked in with that. You notice that for the start of the fight. So he actually had that leg injured. On, you know, fortunate for him that he's very strong with his right kicks and normally he's been kicking a lot with his right kick. Here's the top of this right here. See, actually, he's not even really hitting him in the back of the neck. He's actually hitting him in the neck and not the back of the head. So that is actually legal. It's like the back muscle of the neck. I'm not exactly sure why he was punching there instead of the head, but that was actually his only opening. And usually, how much time do they give an opponent when there is an illegal strike to rest in the corner? Normally, the standard is like five minutes for uh, a kick in the groin, so I'm assuming they're going to use the same time delay for this type of blow. Now, if I'm Chris Bernard, I'm going to take advantage of every second. I take all five minutes, <laughs> definitely. So George Atkins looks into the eyes of Chris Bernard and asks him if he's ready to go. We have one minute and 58 seconds left to go here in this semifinal. Andre Shaolin kind of got a free pass here into the semifinals and trying to make it into the finals. He, he lost a decision in overtime to Molly Wolfgram, but Wolfgram suffering broken ribs in that quarterfinal bout and was unable to continue here in the tournament. So that finds Shaolin in the semifinals against Chris Bernard. Both fighters ready to resume. They're going to say time. They're going to fight without the referee. The natives are getting restless. They have seen a lot of stoppage here thus far. They want to see action. That's what they paid to see. They're going to miss by Bernard. Find its mark against Chris Bernard. Both fighters in good position here. Nice. Oh, a big high kick. Find the back of the neck of Chris Bernard. And another big shot. Chris Bernard throwing for the fences here, looking for an opportunity. Throw a blow. So like ducks underneath. Gets to his back here. Back leg trip is in order. Experience kicker here as he is trying to nice work his way in. Could he get a guillotine? He doesn't have the neck just yet. He is putting it on. Now he has the choke on. Looks like it's underneath his neck here. That's it. That's a tap That's right it, there. That's a tap out with one minute left to go in the round. And Andre Shaolin, a guy who was sort of left for dead, he lost his quarterfinal and because of an injury to the victor, Maui Wolfgram, Andre Shaolin, hello, finds himself into the finals of the eight-man Grand Prix tournament. Definitely impressive showing. As he's getting taken down, he actually had that guillotine sunk in. He just didn't lock his other arms, and I'm sure some of it was exhaustion by Chris Bernard as well as a guillotine. Let's take a look once again at the kicking power and the submission technique of Andre Shaolin. There's that kick to the back of that kind of push him forward here. It goes back low. Nice knee to the chin right there that kind of rocks Chris Bernard and goes to the end. Has that arm wrapped around, starts arching. So he locks him in half guard to kind of keep him in place so he has room to arch those hips. Let's go up top ringside for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee George Atkins steps in and calls a halt. Your winner by guillotine choke at four minutes. And moving on to our finals, Andre Shaolin. Let's hear it for Chris Berman for a valiant effort, ladies and gentlemen.